In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HCl plus ZnOH2. This is hydrochloric acid. This is zinc hydroxide. The first thing we need to do to balance net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. So I can see right here I have two chlorines and only one here. If I put a two here, that fixes the chlorines. Now I have two hydrogens plus two times one. So I have four hydrogens on this side. Let's put a two here and that also fixes the oxygen. So we're done. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. So hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissociate into its ions. We call that AQ. Hydroxides in general are insoluble unless they're group one hydroxides like sodium or potassium hydroxide. Zinc hydroxide, that's going to be insoluble. Only a little bit will dissolve. We're going to call that a solid here. Chlorides, very soluble. If you know your solubility rules, that's aqueous. Water is a liquid. So this is a neutralization reaction. We have an acid and this is a base. They come together, we get a salt in water. Let's next split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen on the periodic table, group one, one plus the chloride ion, one minus. Two hydrogen ions, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus two chloride ions. And then for zinc hydroxide, it's a solid. In net ionic equations, we do not split solids apart. So we just keep it as ZnOH2, zinc hydroxide. Those are the reactants. For the products, zinc is always two plus. We said the chloride one minus. So we have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus. And then we have two of these chloride ions, 2Cl minus. And then just like solids, we don't split liquids apart. So we keep this as 2H2O. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants and the products. In the reactants, I see I have two chloride ions. And I also have that in the products. Those are spectator ions. Get rid of those. Everything else is unique. So what's left is the net ionic equation for HCl plus ZnOH2. I'll clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrochloric acid plus zinc hydroxide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two times one plus, that's two plus. So in the reactants, we have two plus. On the products, we have the two plus with the zinc. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HCl plus ZnOH2. Thanks for watching.